Today I'm going to show you our process on collecting eggs for over 200 hens. So we use a regular bucket and we just put some hay in the bottom of it to provide a little bit of protection for the eggs. So we always have some eggs that are kind of laying in different spots around our around our raking house here. So we just kind of come through and pick these up. And usually these ones that are not laid in the nesting boxes we'll keep for ourselves. So that you can see there's some over here in the corner as well. I don't know why they do this, but they do. Just don't want to use the nesting box, I guess. Or it could be because we do have some broody hens right now. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, there's 10 so far. So you can see the broody hens. What we do is we just coax them out, out, out. bad thing with having all these broody hens is they lay on them and then they end up breaking the eggs so we don't have as many. 11, 12. So we usually have to put fresh hay in about every three days. So this actually used to be a rollaway nest box that we built. Uh, but we just had hardware cloth in the bottom of it and they didn't like to uh, lay them just the hardware cloth Which I, I don't blame them. So we end up I mean they'll still roll away if we were to take away all the nesting material But we just pile it high enough and the eggs just sit here and we'll come through and collect them from the front every day If we had it as a roll away nest, it'd probably help prevent some of the broodiness that we have They wouldn't lay on them so often um, <clears throat> But also it just they weren't laying in it. They would lay everywhere and uh, so yeah to cut down on that we uh, just put nesting material in there and see so you can see that we either have an egg eater or it's from these hens laying on them because uh, there was a broken egg in there because this thing is shiny. It's had the egg yolk on it. So it's been really hot and uh, egg production has dropped pretty significantly. And it's probably from the heat. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't really know. We, we've used the same grain for a couple of years now. It's been really good for us. But our egg prediction is about Gosh, it's probably down almost 40%, which is pretty significant, but it has been in the, you know, hundreds, upper 90s. So I understand that it will go down some when it's that hot. We have one white egg layer. So we got one white egg, usually every day. And we have one Americana, so we get one green or blue egg every day. Well, not every day, but almost every day. Come on, you gotta go. Bye bye. And see, you can see she's broody. See how she puffs up her feathers like that? Another way you can tell they're very broody. And we've kind of just been going through a cycle. We'll have a few broody hens in here, and then they'll get over it, and then we'll have a few more. And one broody hen <coughs> will send more hens into broodiness and before you know it, you got six or eight laying on eggs all day so you got to come in here and clear them out throughout the day but yeah so we collected them all and we take them inside here so then we come into our mud room after we get them inside and we'll put them in these cartons since most of these go to our local bakery they don't need to go in the dozen cartons which we use for our uh, our retail store when we deliver to them once a week 
So yeah, we'll take the cleanest, best eggs and we'll just put them straight into these cartons. And these cartons will hold 30 eggs and it takes six of these cartons to make 15 dozen. And we take roughly 60 dozen a week to the bakery, which is quite a few. All right, we've collected them all, put them all in the fridge, got them all ready for our delivery tomorrow. The next probably most important thing to do after you collect the eggs for the day is you want to come back out here. As you can see, it's only been about 10 minutes, but uh, there's one, two, three, four, five hens already laying back in these boxes. So what you want to make sure is you come out here and you clear them all out. That's what we do. And you can see I missed a couple eggs. So we'll grab those. Either that or they laid them in those 10 minutes, which is very possible. So we'll get them all out of there. <clears throat> and then what I did, we put a little piece of wire on this and we hooked that wire to that little eye hook there. And that closes that box. And then this one is held open by a stick. So we just pulled the stick out. Don't forget to get the hand out. Bye bye. Another egg, close that box. Put the stick up here so we have it. So this one, we have a board that goes across the front. So we take the board, close that nesting box, and then we're all closed for the evening. And what I do is I kind of cheat. I don't come out here at four or 5 a.m. to open these nesting box up, back up for them, is I'll wait till about 10 or 11 o'clock at night when I go to bed, I'll come out, I'll open the nesting boxes, and all the hens are already asleep laying on the ground. They can't see well at night, so they don't hop back up in there. So in the morning when they get up, start laying their eggs, nesting boxes are already open and we're good to go. All right, that's our process for collecting eggs every day. We'll see you in the next one.